Here's the, uh, the SMS we received. Mm. Quote, and it's about COVID lockdowns. Here's one you won't hear on the news. They are now removing healthy people from their homes in the western suburbs of Adelaide. Last night, my friend's brother was taken away. His three grandkids with them, and the granddaughter is friends with the girl from Woodville High School who tested positive. So a girl from Woodville High School tested positive. Her friend and all of her family were taken away. Two cops were there last night along with some, quote, SA Health dickheads in masks and disposable PPE gowns, personal protective equipment. Whole family of five forced into a 30-seater bus and told to sit at the very back and taken to a hotel in the city to be quarantined. They are not positive cases. Kiss your livelihoods and your freedoms goodbye for a couple of weeks or however long you are simply associated with a confirmed case of COVID. This is insanity, people. Wake up. And the covering note to that uh, SMS was they were being picked up from Parafield Gardens in South Australia and they were screaming and crying, apparently. Now, they didn't pick them up from Unley. They picked them up from Parafield Gardens. And if you know, Unley, Unley is the... Let's see. Let's say the better healed ed end of town, and that's what they do. They start at the the lower end of town. They work their way up to see how much pushback there is. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you sit back and say nothing, all is lost. They can no longer sit back and just watch this happen. You must respond. You must inundate your local MP. You must terrify them because they're weak. They're shallow. They're mm. timorous. That's right. Push back and they must slow down. They will have to slow down. Don't push back. If the people in Unley don't support the people in Powerful Gardens, they're going to come for the people in Unley as well. Mm. Simple as that. There's no such thing as sitting on a fence. There really isn't because you've got an opportunity cost. You either use your time or you don't use your time. If you don't use your time, they will seize whatever they can get their hands of. If you, if you use your time productively, who knows, you might even start the arc in, in your own state. There you go. And... Um, that's that's enraging because you've been you've been saying since the start of the show they're coming for your kids they're coming for your kids they're coming for your kids and people are like nah come on Ricardo you're not coming for your kids it's and like, we have an allegedly liberal government in South Australia with the Labor government in WA and they're doing exactly the same thing mm. but that's the point <laughs> ladies and gentlemen please <laughs> I beg you understand that your Liberal Party is not the party it once was your Labor Party is no longer the party it once was. The Nationals and Greens. Well, the Nationals are no longer, and the Greens have always been lunatics. Mm. You're being conned. Stop voting for a coloured jersey, because mm. that's all you're doing. Mm. Look in the mirror and wake up, please. Mm. So I mentioned at the start of the show that we had an event last night. We reached 2,000 people online, 200 people in person. It was phenomenal. You took two hours, 40 minutes of unfiltered Q&A, uh, you know, warts and all, and um, no moderator to save you. We had some overflow questions from people online that I promised Mm. uh, would get them answered. We're going to quickly go through these quick questions. This one's from, his name is Crypto Demon. Hi, 